Hi, I'm Tim Deering. I oversee vision and networking with Netzer. Netzer is a Hebrew word. It means shoot or branch. It carries this idea of new life coming up out of ancient roots. When it comes to the church, the scriptures are so clear. There's one body of believers. When Peter's talking about the church in his first epistle, he uses this little single one word modifier, A. He says, we're a spiritual house, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. And that little modifier, what it says is, we're not just a bunch of individuals who are pursuing the same God. We have a singular identity together as the people of God. It's so vital to understand the oneness of the church because the church is God's chosen vessel on earth to reveal his image. That means that the oneness of the church reveals the oneness of God on earth. This is so important to God that the oneness of the church sits right in the middle of the redemptive story. Jesus at the Last Supper, when he breaks the bread and drinks the common cup in the New Covenant, he starts to make his way to the cross and he stops in the Garden of Gethsemane. And that's where we hear the prayer of John 17, where he prays that we would be one as he and the Father are one. And then he goes to make that a reality on the cross and with an empty tomb. And so he draws us and redeems us to fulfill our destiny, to fulfill our purpose, to be the image bearers of God. And we do that corporately in this identity as the people of God live in unity. We reflect the very nature of God's oneness among us. And that's what his redemption is for, is to bring us back into fellowship with him and one another. And when we live out of that identity, when we live in unity together, he reveals himself to the world around. And that makes it possible for communities, for cities, for regions to flourish as they see the presence of God moving among them. The problem in the church today is that we have systemic and generational divides. We have our departments and our tribes that function totally independent of one another, even in competition at times. And of course, the Lord wants something different for us. In the New Testament, we see the picture of a singular church across the known world. The only nuance between one congregation and the next is which city they live in. So you have the Church of Philippi and the Church of Jerusalem and the Church of Rome, but it's still just one church. Our hope and desire in Netzer is to help the church express itself regionally. All across southeastern Pennsylvania right now, we're helping congregations and leaders from different backgrounds come together under a singular identity in Christ and in their city or their region. And we're asking a question. What's it mean for the oneness of the ancient church to have new life and new growth here and now, today? To vocalize the importance of the regional church, Netzer focuses on three aspects. Church for Church Leaders, One Church Initiatives, and Equipping the Church. Through these interconnected expressions of the regional church, we're seeking for individuals and communities to be healthy, to be connected, and to be mobilized in order to love God and love others more effectively as we pursue the furthering of the gospel for the sake of the kingdom and for the glory of Christ.